Hi CBRC members, this is Vicki coming to you from my house, taping another Hip Pilates class for you, high intensity interval training. We did one earlier in the closure. This is another one that you can add to that to supplement it. For those of you that haven't done Hip Pilates, high intensity interval training Pilates, we're going to do three intervals. In each interval there are three rounds, and in each round there's about two different Pilates based exercises. Easy to follow, lots of fun, you'll have a great workout. I'm going to turn on the music. All right, heels are underneath the hips. Roll those shoulders and stand nice and tall. Try to touch the ceiling with the head. Knees, right, left, right, left, right, and left. You're pulling those abs in and you're standing as tall as you can. I want you to reach long with the arms and just move. This first round is our warm up. So we're not gonna go quite as hard in this one as we will in the other ones. We're practicing finding our midline. The abdominal wall, the spine, and you're reaching really long with the arms. Start to push the floor with those feet. A little point with the toes. You can do this workout with shoes or without. It's all good. A little taller go. Up, up. Breathing, reaching, warming up. Pilates march. That's what we call this. It's knees, but it's a Pilates march. All right. Second move. Take those feet out wide. Abs in. Shoulders down. Roll. Down. Up. Down. Up. Push the floor, squeeze the legs. Draw this in, arms go like this. Up and up. So we use the biceps and shoulders. We use the upper back and shoulders. Down. Good. Pulling the abs in and making that spine long. So our second exercise is usually our recovery exercise. So in our second round, we're gonna go harder with that first exercise and we'll recover with this. But I still want this strong, those abs, that spine. Squeeze the legs here, squeeze the glutes here, down and up. Strong upper back, strong arms. And we always breathe through all our exercises. All right, round two. Heels underneath the hips, roll. Find that length again for me. Breathing. We have our knees. Lift, lift. Arms come up. Pull, 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 pull. You're standing as tall as you can, and now we've got a bigger reach. Now you can stay at this pace, or you can pick it up faster. So we start to build the intensity here with our first exercises. Round two. First set of exercises. This is your work. So I want you to go as quick as you can with control. So that means strong arms, strong legs, strong abs, long spine. And we always breathe. Keep it going, keep it going. 55 on, 10 off. That's our round. All right, that second exercise, feet wide. Connect, connect, roll, breathe. And we go down, up, down, up. Get ready for the arms. Here we go, up and up. You draw the abs, you make that spine long. Now, everything in Pilates, always has a function and a purpose. So the arms are still strong here as we're moving them. And we connect all the muscles in the legs. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Pulling the abs in, remembering to breathe. Good. Never letting the abs go. Pilates is an ab workout the whole time. I want you to squeeze the legs more. Squeeze them more. All right. Round three. We roll. We connect. We set that spine. 
we get ready for our Pilates march. Ready? Lift, lift. Now, here, or as quick as you can, the arms are up this time, makes it a little more challenging. We pull the abs in, we lengthen that spine, and then I want you to watch your shoulders. Keep them down, keep them down. So this is round three of our first interval. We go as hard as we can here. So you're really moving those legs. It doesn't matter how high, it doesn't matter the point of the toe, it's that connection to the midline. Breathing and working. As quick as you can. Throw that beat out and just go. Keep it strong, keep it strong. You draw the abs in more as you get fatigued. You lengthen the spine as you get fatigued. And we move. All right, feet wide. Draw this in, here, roll. Breathing. And we go down, up, down, up. Squeeze the legs. Let's add those arms. Front, side, good. Now make those arms strong. Use the biceps and shoulders. Use that upper back. Then we're always drawing the abs in. The rib cage and that belly button in. The spine is long. Out the crown of the head and down that tailbone. Then we really push the floor with those feet when we rise to squeeze up the legs and into the glutes. Good. Can you come a little lower? A little big range, big range of motion, but don't sacrifice the form. Our ears are right over our hips. And shake it out. All right, first interval done. Interval two. You're gonna come down onto your bellies. We're gonna lift the legs up, open, close, and down. That's our first exercise. Second, arms up, open, close. So same thing, bottom to top. On that belly. Pull yourself forward and tuck your chin. Pull that belly button in tight. Breathing. So we set our position here first. We find the length in the spine, the depth in the abs. Breathing. It'll tell us when to go in just a second. All right. So you're long, crown of the head and toes. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Find that length. Out the toes, out the crown of the head. The chin is tucked. I want you to squeeze those inner thighs right here. Then down. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in. Good. Draw that belly button in as much as you can. That will help to protect your lower back. Keep going. Up, out, in, down. Reach, reach. Squeeze and down. We are working through the spine with our second interval. Keep going. All right, arms in front. Pull yourself forward, pull that belly in. We lift up with the torso, bring the hands to our sides, back in front. Ready, go. Up, out. In and down. Lift. Squeeze those shoulder blades right here. Squeeze them. The legs anchor the entire time. The abs drawing in the entire time. That spine long the entire time. Reach it with those fingers up. Squeeze. Reach and down. Lift. Squeeze. Reach. And down, watch those legs. Keep them anchored to the floor. Then we pull the belly in more. Up, again. Think about the length and the spine. All right, round two. Pull yourself forward, pull that belly in, tuck that chin. We breathe, back to the legs. So we're nice and long. Up, out, in, and 
down there. You can stay with this beat or you go quicker. Ignore the beat. You move at your pace. Up, open, close, and down. On the beat or faster than the beat. But we're pulling the belly in. We're tucking that chin. As much as you can, keep that leg, that leg. And then just move. So we're working those muscles that are along the spine and our posture. You're breathing. You're deepening those abs. We never let them go. Just a little more. All right, arms, feet hip width. Pull that belly in, tuck your chin. Breathe. Ready, we go. Up, squeeze, reach, and down, lift. Now it is a very small lift. No arch through the lower back. Pull the belly in and keep that lower back really neutral. Lift, squeeze, reach, and down. Tucking that chin so the neck is lined up with the spine. Keep going, keep going. Up, squeeze. Now check those feet. They are on the floor. They are anchored. Keep going. Draw those abs in again. In, in, in. Last round. Forehead. Pull yourself forward. Pull that belly button in. Breathing. Up, open, close, down. So I want you to move as quick as you can. Just ignore that beat. Keep the torso really still and long. And reach to the toes. Reach to the crown of the head. Then you draw that belly in more. So this is our quick work right here. As quick as you can with control. And remember to breathe. Keep going, keep going. You're almost there. Pull that belly. Find that leg. A little more. All right, arms out. Tuck that chin, feet hip width, pull that belly in. Breathe. All right, nice and controlled with the arms. We come up, side, forward, down. Up, side, forward, down. The chin is tucked. We never look up. I want you to think about your upper back. Palms down, squeeze the shoulder blades right here. And as you squeeze, draw the belly in. Then check the feet, keep them anchored up. Back, forward, down. Stay strong. Third round, second interval. You're almost there. Excellent, all right. Let's turn around onto our backs. First set of work, single leg bridge. Take your leg up. Actually, let's set it first. Arms, chest, pull that belly in. Nice neutral spine here. We'll take the right leg up and hold it there. So single leg bridge, and then we'll change legs. That left foot comes in close to the glutes. This is your recovery. I want you to breathe before we start round three. Nice break here to rest and recover. Ready? Abs are in. The spine is long. We come up, down, up. And down, reaching out through those toes and pulling that belly button in. 
Change legs. Up, down. Use the arms. Remember, everything's got a purpose. So we're pushing the arms, we're pulling the abs, and those legs are going. Change. Up, down, up, down. One more. Switch legs, switch legs. So we're doing four and four right now. Change. Switch. Four, three, two. All right. Second set of exercises. Bring the knees in, pull the belly back. Down, curl up, take those hands behind the head. We go flex and point. Flex, point. Flex and point. Four, three, two. Last one, bend those knees, roll over. Here we go. Up and down, up and down. Pull that belly in, pull it in. One more. Lower lift, flex, point, flex. We're going a little quicker now. Flex, point, flex, four more. Abs in the back is down, three, two. Bend the knees, roll over, roll over. Bottom four vertebrae, pull the abs in. Push the arms, four, three, All right, two, and one, all right, right leg up, left foot down, back to our bridges, active arms. We're gonna go as quick as we can here, lift and lower. You ignore that beat and you press. Four, three, two, change. Left leg, left leg, eight on each side. You can count this, eight on each side. Four more. Switch, four on each side. Switch, four on each side. As quick as you can, with control. Switch, pulling the abs, pressing those arms. Switch. Breathing. This is our push, right here. Keep going. All right, draw those knees in. Lower lift, roll over. Curl up, hands, legs. Back is down, we pull the abs in. We go down, up, down, up, down, up. Belly in, back down. You've got four, three, two. Roll over, go. Up and down. Up, pulling the abs right here. Then press those arms. Four, three, two. Back to lower lift. Curl. Down, up, down, up. The belly's in, that back is down. Push. Four, three, two. Roll over, roll over. Up and down. Abs. Abs. Oop. Oop. One more. All right. Round three. Round three. Take that leg up. Press. Connect. Everything. We move as quick as we can. Eight each side. You count it. You count it. Eight and eight. Breathing. Control. Now four. Reaching. Lengthening. Connecting the abs. In, in. Keep going, keep going. You're almost there. 
All right, we finish. Lower lift, roll over, curl. Head can be down if you want. Hands underneath those hips. Down and up. Breathe. Belly in, back down. One more. Roll over, roll over. Up. Abs. Then follow the spine down. Four more. Back to lower lift. Here we go. Down, up. Down, up. Roll over, roll over. Two more. Lower lift, abs in. Four, three, reach. Two, roll over, go. Four. With control. Lower lift, four, three, let's finish these. Two, and one, lower down. All right, congratulations. Three intervals done, three rounds per interval. We're going to stretch. I want you to rock side to side. Massage out the lower back. Feet come down one at a time, you'll open those arms. Drop your knees to me, look away. Stretch your side. Awesome job. Switch, knees to the back, look to the front. Hold. So in my Friday noon hip class, we do five intervals, but for your exercise enjoyment here, we're doing three so you can do a quick hit it, exercise, and then be done. Feet down, right leg up, I want you to flex. Push the heel to the ceiling, push the glutes to the mat, hold. Then toes to ceiling, gently draw the leg in, but still push the glutes down. That leg is as long as you can make it. Right hand, right leg, left hand, left hip, open. A little inner thigh stretch here. Always important to stretch, especially when we're not at the gym with someone telling us to do it. We need to make sure we keep those muscles long. Leg comes up, ankle to knee, push. Here. Or here, you choose. A little outer hip and thigh. Then right foot down, left leg up, flex, arms to the side. Heel up, glutes down, hold. Breathe. Toes to the ceiling. Pull that leg in a little bit, but push the glutes down. Make the leg as long as you can, then watch your chin. Bring it in. Left hand, left leg, right hand, right hand, open. Inner thigh. Leg comes up, ankle to knee, push the knee away. If you want, you draw that knee in and you press that leg out with your elbow. Bring your knees together. Turn towards me. Grab your top ankle. Flex the foot. Now squeeze the glutes and push the ankle into your fingertips. Quad stretch. Hold. Breathe. From our first interval, stretching out. And from our bridges. Release. Turn to the back. Same thing. Grab your ankle. Flex your foot. Squeeze your glutes. Push the ankle through your fingertips. Hold. Then release. I want you to gently press yourself up. Turn on your mat or your towel. Sink back, arms in front, push the hips back. Reach forward with your fingertips. Walk those hands in. Turn and face me. One foot down, push that heel down. We're stretching the calf. Good, switch. Got a little sweaty. All right, heels under hips. Fold in half. Relax the arms, the neck, the jaw. Then hands to thighs, roll up. Stack your vertebrae. Clasp your hands. 
Push out in front. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Come to the right. Center, go left. Center, arms up. Take them behind. Push down and lift. Open through that chest. Roll, hands to cobble. Pull down, lift up that chin. And release. Take a deep breath in. We step wide first, then take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the air with hands. Push the floor with feet. And again, inhale. As you push, draw the abs in, lengthen the spine. Connect to midline. One more time. And we are done with hip Pilates too. I want you guys to stay strong till we see you hopefully in May or June and we can start all our classes again. Thank you.